I just showed this flyer off in my last video. It was only a short video. Uh, this thing is ready for space. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I built this. More specifically, we're going to build this. And this will have a detailed programming. So it goes uh, forward, backward, strafe, strafe, uh, roll, pitch, yaw. We'll go forward, backwards. And I've got this set so that you can either drift forward or hit Z and it automatically stops itself from drifting. So we can drift to the side or we can not drift to the side. So this thing is ready for space. Uh, I've also got a booster. That's T. So let's get into building this sucker. So let us start with a new bot. I'll do the shape plus large, whatever that is. Let me extrude this a bit and get rid of that so I can see. We need some RCS thrusters, of course. We'll put one there. We don't want this mirrored. Click it, hit M to unmirror it. Should be able to do a middle click and place it here. Now, is that mirrored? No, good. Place one here, place one here. Let's see if those are centered. Then we're gonna need some electronics. We'll need a speedometer. We need a gyroscope and we're going to need a CPU which I'm just going to put off to the side to start with. Oh, we don't want that mirrored. Let me put it in the back. We'll also want our boost. Let's put two boosters. One and two. And I believe that's it. Let's go to the programming. Next I'm going to add in all my key inputs. Here's all my inputs. Left shift is for toggling anti-gravity. This is for up and down, inertial dampeners, uh, strafing to the left and the right, uh, going forward and backwards with the RCS thrusters. Left and right arrow is for yaw, up and down arrows are for pitch, and Q and E is for roll, and T is for turning the thrust on. Next, we gotta make this advanced mode. We need some toggles. Drag a toggle out. We need our RCS thruster against gravity out here, and we need one for each. Let's see, before I stack them on top of each other, let me just put them out, because I want to make sure that each of them is adjusted. And I'm going to put these to 100 each. I found if you try to change this when they're grouped, sometimes it doesn't work right. So I like to change these all first and then group them together. So now we can group those and we're gonna do some multiplication so that the against gravity isn't gonna be a hundred percent. We'll make it uh, 80 percent I think. So that'll give me my anti-gravity. For up down we're gonna put that onto another CPU so here we're just gonna have this as up down pressed. Inertial dampeners is going to be toggled on and off so that'll be a toggle and that will happen somewhere else also so we just want an output that says inertial dampener. These are also going to be happening elsewhere so these also have some outputs DA pressed and SW pressed. We need our RCS thruster forward and back out here and let's take all four of them out now let's turn the transparency off so we can see which is which go to our parts we're going to rename these so this is the right and then I'm going to rename this one left this one rear no yes and this one front So I'll turn the transparency off now. The right and the left, we're gonna wanna keep out. For this one, the front and the rear, we can merge those. Need some math. We're gonna multiply by a constant. This is gonna be at 0.6. And then we'll have 
an add here and here. I'm gonna have an add over here. Is that there or here? I think I've got these too close. Let me move these out a little bit. So when SW is pressed, then that's going to go to all of the thrusters to move them forward. When left is pressed, we're going to want the left RCS thruster to get some power. But we're going to pull out a negate because at the same time we want the right RCS thruster to get the opposite power. So here we've got our forward thrust and we've got our yaw. But I also want, if I'm not trying to do yaw, if I'm not hitting left or right, I want some counter spin. So let's get the absolute of this so that if it's a one or a negative one, this is gonna be a one and then we need a knot. And then in our parts there is for each of these RCS, there's a counter spin, and we'll pull all of those out and group them together. Hook that up. So what this is saying is, if left and right is not being pressed, then give me some counter spin and stop my yaw. Up and down is gonna go to a pitch input, and we're gonna have a roll input over here. I wanna go over to my CPU one, which I'm going to rename Pitch and Roll. So from my docking station, I want my pitch input, I want my roll input. From the gyroscope, I want roll speed and pitch speed. Move those up a little bit. We need advanced mode on. We're going to be setting up something similar to this for our pitch and roll. So we want an absolute coming out of here and also here. We want a knot going here and here. Let's get some multiplication and some constants. We'll need some add. So let's hook these up like so. Whoopsie. Come here. Negative three for this one, uh, point six for this one, and we're gonna have an output that is pitch adjustment. So, what does this say? This says if I have pitch speed, let's adjust our pitch based on that pitch speed but we only want that to happen if I'm not pressing a pitch input. So if pitch input is being pressed then a zero is going to go to this so there's not going to be a pitch adjustment based on the pitch speed. But if pitch is not being pressed then a one is going to go in here and so the pitch speed will uh, affect the pitch adjustment. I've also got basically the raw pitch input uh, going into the pitch adjustment. So if you're actually trying to affect the pitch, that's gonna go into pitch adjustment. And where the pitch adjustment goes is coming later. I'm gonna have the exact same setup for roll control. So this one's 0 0.7, this one's three. So your roll speed will affect your roll adjustment unless you're actually trying to do roll and then if you're trying to do roll then this will be ignored and this will be used instead. So we're done with pitch and roll control. Let me do a save and here's where I'm going to save myself some programming by doing a middle mouse click and we'll place a second CPU. Actually let's do uh, two of them. So we'll go into programming and let's do lateral control for this one. So this one, we're just gonna change a few things on this. We'll get rid of this pitch input and this roll input because what we need now from the docking station is SW pressed and DA pressed here. We're not gonna need this. 
And let's get rid of that input just to make sure we don't screw it up. Um, no, output. And this is going to be our forward reduction. Change this one to 0.9. I'm going to have my RCS thrusters right and left. Let's see. We need that here. So this is going to be my lateral control uh, going right and left. I got that spelled wrong. Rear, not red. We'll just group them on top of each other. We're going to need from our docking station the inertial dampener. Let's see if that's toggled on or off. Let me pull this all down a little bit. We need one more multiplication and we're going to need a negate for this one to work properly. Uh, oh, we don't want roll speed here. We want we want speed to the right from our speedometer. So this is saying if D or A is being pressed, send a percentage of that input to our RCS thrusters going right and left. If D and A is not being pressed, then take our speed to the right and adjust our right and left based on our speed to the right or left. And also only do that if our inertial dampener is on. So if our inertial dampener is on, that's a one, and then that's going to affect this. If our inertial dampener is off, then a zero is gonna be coming in here. And then our speed to the right will not affect the thrust to right or left. This one's slightly more complicated. I'm getting rid of those because I've got SW already working on the docking station here going to the forward and back. Now I just realized I'm going to need to finish setting up my thrust. So let's go back over here and finish setting up the thrust. So thrust is going to be toggled on and off, but we need a sequence because we've got two thrusters, two boosters I should say. So we'll have booster one boost and booster two boost. And let's set the to 100% each. We need some multiplication in here and we need a knot and we need to program our sequence which is just going to be one zero one etc and i believe i switched this to 10 or 16 something like that so that's how long the sequence will take and then we need an output that says that the thrust is on or maybe i should call it booster on booster on so We'll hook all that up. So this says, if we turn on the thrust, then start this sequence. The sequence is going to send a 1 or a 0. If it's sending a 1 here and the toggle is on, then the boost, this booster is going to start and when a zero goes uh, through the sequence then this booster will go off. Meanwhile if a zero is coming out of the sequence then this knot is going to reverse that and turn on this booster as long as the toggle is being pressed. So these boosters will alternate and the reason I did this, I don't think I mentioned this before, but this jet is just way too big for this craft. And then the booster, of course, only stays on for a certain amount of time. So that's why I put two boosters and then alternated back and forth. I'm not super happy with it. It might actually be better to just add more RCS thrusters in order to get more forward thrust. But we've got all this set up. So let's go back to our lateral control. I did all that because I need from the docking station the booster on. And that is going to go... We're going to add an OR gate to this. And so we can tell the user how fast they're going. We'll go into miscellaneous debug and we'll call this speed. And this constant has to be a power positive 3 instead of a negative 3. Move this over a little bit. 
Uh, we don't need an add here. Right, take that out. We do need another multiplication though. Because we need the inertial dampener to come into play. Ah, pitch speed. We don't want pitch speed, we want forward speed. Grab the forward speed, and then that is actually what's going into here. Oops, this got, didn't connect that. So if SW is not pressed, and or the booster is not on, then we've got a one going into here. So then we're gonna take our forward speed and reduce our forward speed based on our forward speed, but only if the initial dampener is on. If the initial dampener is off, that then a zero is gonna to go to here. If SW is being pressed or our booster is on, then a zero is gonna to go to here and we're not gonna have any forward reduction. So we are done with lateral control. Last one, up down adjustment. First off, we can get rid of all of this because we only need one section like this. So we'll take these out. So this one from our docking station is up, down, being pressed. And then from our speedometer, we have the speed up. So we'll stick those in there. This one is gonna be a positive three. I move that over a little bit because we're also gonna wanna pull in our inertial dampener. Some more multiplication to take into effect the inertial dampener. I don't need this. And then let's override that. Now we need our RCS thrusters up and down. So we'll pull out all of those. Now let me put the front up here, then the rear, then the left, and then the right. We're gonna need some adds in front of each of these. From our pitch and roll control, we need our pitch adjustment and our roll adjustment. We're gonna need our negate in the sign for this one and this one. So let me hook that up to all of these. Okie doke. This is saying, if up and down is being pressed, take a percentage of that and bring it to all of the RCS thrusters and give it up. If up and down is not being pressed and the inertial dampener is on, then take the speed up and basically negate it. So that's the basic up and down. And this is saying if we're going to adjust our pitch, then we need to do that by affecting our front and rear uh, thrusters, making them go up or down. And if we need to adjust our roll, we're going to make our left and right thrusters go up or down. So, I think that's it. Oh, this is not set up. Sometimes when you have the group, uh, I noticed it doesn't always work right when you connect these to a group. In fact, I can see it's sort of pink instead of red, which makes me think it's not all hooked up properly. So I might need to take this off I wish there was a way to ungroup, but I don't know how to do that. Uh, let's just turn it on and see what happens. Yeah, the anti-gravity is not working properly. So let me undo these. Let's pull up, pull up a bunch of these and keep them separate. All right, let's make sure they're all at 100% and hook them all up individually before I group them. All right, try it now. Okay. I think, is the anti-gravity the problem? Possible the placement of these might be the problem, so let me move these. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. Anti-gravity seems to be okay, but we're getting this weird oscillation not sure what that's about okay I'm missing my forward reduction I just noticed that I believe that's from my lateral control there we go and then that has to be fed into here not sure that's gonna make that big a difference though no something to do with my roll let's get some debugs out here 
Uh, there's definitely some data going there. My left and right are going up and down, oscillating. My left and right roll seems to be backwards. Why would that be? I wonder if somehow this was flipped. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's better. Yes. Yes. Z. Yes. Um, arrows. Pitch. Roll. Uh, oh, my roll is backwards. Interesting. See, oh, I just need to change then my Q and E. Instead of Q slash E, I want E slash Q. Alright, Z, Q, E. Very good. Alright, let's try our boost. That's working. It's um, making me really pitch upward though. Why is it doing that? Let me try going forward just with the regular boost. That is not making me pitch upward a little bit. It makes me pitch upward a little bit. Make this push up a little bit more so that the booster is closer. Let's, let's make it even farther up. Let's try that. All right, and then the booster. That's better. It still pitches me up a little bit. Let's go ahead and push it all the way in. Maybe push it in even one more. Uh, if I do that, I'm going to need to... Alright, T. That's better. Alright, T. Z. Okay. I think we're done. Very good. Alright, I can take my debugs out. It still seems to want to pitch upwards a little bit, but I think it works pretty well. So I think we'll leave it here. I hope you got something out of it and that it'll help you in your build for when we're going into space. If you like this video, give it a like. Consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, ring the bell for notifications. I love to read your comments. Give me comments, please. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Steve's Makerspace.